What's up? It's the Gonzo Economist here. And yes, why am I Gonzo? Because my form of my style of journalism, research, and doing things is different. It's a different thing. It's in the way of Hunter S. Thompson. I respect that dude. And I'm smoking a cig, so. So, here's a little issue I got. This is off topic from the politics, the economy, wars, and everything. This is about the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. They have dropped the ball on two severe weather outbreaks in the last few, in the last probably four or five days. Well, I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday earlier in the week. I don't remember what day it was. But they have, they issued a slight risk and there was no tornadoes expected. They said just multi-cell pulse type thunderstorms. What happens? A big supercell forms in southeast Michigan and it produces an EF3 tornado, a pretty powerful tornado in Dexter, Michigan. Destroyed the complete, completely destroyed the town. And there was two tornadoes also that day. And there's a, an EF2 and an EF0. So there's three tornadoes on a day. There was no tornadoes expected. Expected. They dropped the ball on that one. And then we had today. And there was supposed to be only... Oh, they were like saying, oh, there's going to be a strong cap. There's only going to be, be a few isolated tornadoes or so. In southern... The southern plains near like West Texas. Yet there... And western Oklahoma. Yet there was a few tornadoes there today. A few of them. But nothing significant, really. It was all in open country. But ten, a few hours ago, what happens? They issue barely a risk area for the areas in Nebraska and... Uh, I'm trying to think, Nebraska and southern South Dakota. Yet there's officially now 12 or 13 tornadoes reported today up there. And a few damaging ones. The biggest rail yard in the world got hit and it knocked down numerous rail cars and so there was 12 tornadoes in the area they weren't expecting tornadoes of course they've been f screwing up their forecasts and then tomorrow it's a bigger day there's expected to be a major tornado outbreak in texas and oklahoma they're going to probably issue a slight risk with 5% tornado probabilities, but I'm thinking they should have a moderate risk or a high risk tomorrow easily. Tomorrow is supposed to be pretty bad. I am I issue, I do my own tornado forecast just because it's a hobby of mine, and I like to track twisters and stuff. The multi-talented Gonzo Economist. And I think there might be a few violent tornadoes Austin, which I'm a fan with, where Alex Jones is, which I'm a big, huge fan of his, which inspires my videos. That area might be under the gun. And Dallas and San Antonio, Houston, eastern parts of Oklahoma City are, are the target for a series of violent tornadoes. Strong to violent tornadoes. So, that's my short rant. So, here's a little thing to the SBC. Why are you guys fucking up so badly right now? Like, seriously? Like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be the lead forecasting crew in the United States for Twisters, but you've been fucking up as of recently. Get your, get your heads into the game and just do what you're supposed to do and forecast Twisters right and not fuck them up. You've been screwing up two tornado events in the last two weeks. Not in the last two weeks, probably the last few days, actually. If you drop the ball tomorrow, you lose credibility. And I have a little other little quick rant I want to do real quick. It will only last a few, like a half a minute. Okay, here's some dude that's been getting on my nerves. His name is Kevin Martin. He's from Southern California. He's a fucking piece of shit. He he befriended me, and then I, I basically owned him, and I basically just told him to fuck off because he's been... He's a shitty forecaster, he rants at people, he claims he's going to sue the Storm Prediction Center, and Noah, you can't sue, you're not going to sue them. If you try to sue them, they're going to fucking lock you up, because that stupid fucking NDAA Act of 2012. Don't fuck around with that shit, man. 
So that's been the Gonzo Economist little rant for tonight of early Sunday, late Sunday night. So, yes, that's my rant.